I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on differentiating trigonometric inverse function with substitution. We need to differentiate y equals to sine of 2 tan inverse and within square root we have 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x. Now before getting into substitution uh, let me give you some background of trigonometric functions which we are going to use. We are going to look into this function which is 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta. Now this expression is actually equals to tan theta. Right? It is actually equals to tan theta. Let me show you how. Uh, we know cos 2 theta could be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1. Right? So that is one way of writing this. The other way is also, we could write this as 1 minus uh, 2 sine squared theta, right? So these are, there's another way also, which is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Anyway, these two can help. Now in this expression, 1 minus cos 2 theta 1 minus cos 2 theta will be equal to, so if I bring this 1 on this side, uh, let me rearrange. So we have these two formulas, correct? If I rearrange the second formula, what do I get? I get 2 sine square theta, bring it here, 1 minus cos 2 theta. Is it okay? And from here, I get 2 cos square theta as equals to 1 plus cos 2 theta. Is it okay? So, 1 minus cos 2 theta is 2 sine square theta, 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta, right? So within the square root, I could write this as 2 sine square theta divided by 2 cos square theta. So that gives you 2, 2 cancel, sine square theta over cos square theta is tan square theta, and square root of that is tan theta. Is it okay? So this is the expression which we are going to use. That's an identity. Okay. So we are making a substitution that x is equals to cos 2 theta. So we'll substitute, we'll say let x is equals to cos 2 theta, right? So that is the substitution which we are going to make, right? So from here, 2 theta is equals to cos inverse x, right? Okay. Now let's continue with this substitution. So we have y equals to sine of within brackets 2 tan inverse within brackets 1 that is square root of 1 minus cos 2 theta divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta, right? bracket close. Now this could be written as sine of 2 tan inverse. Now this thing I just proved as equals to tan theta. So we'll just write this as tan theta. Okay. Now tan inverse of tan theta will be theta, right? So what we get here is sine of 2 times that is theta. So we get 2 theta here. Is it okay? So, so we get sine 2 theta. Now what is sine 2 theta? We know 2 theta in terms of cosine. Now how do we write this in terms of sine? Well we can always convert cos 2 theta in terms of sine 2 theta, right? So we could write this as square root of 1 minus x square, right? Uh, okay, so as you know, cos square a plus sine square a is equals to 1. So we could always write uh, sine a as equals to 1 minus cos square a square root. Is it okay? Right. So in this case, we could write sine 2 theta as equals to square root of 1 minus cos square 2 theta. 
right? So we could write it like this, where cos 2 theta is x. So this expression is equals to square root of 1 minus x square. I hope this point is clear to you, right? So combine all these strategies, and then what you get here is y is equals to 1 minus x square square root, right? Now we can take derivatives. So we have dy dx as derivative of this function, which is 1 half times this to the power of minus half, which is 1 over square root of 1 minus x square times derivative of 1 minus x square. Let me write down here d dx of 1 minus x square, right? So this is equals to, we can write this as 1 over 2 square root of 1 minus x square, and that is minus 2x, minus 2x, correct? And this 2 and 2 cancels, so we have minus x over square root of 1 minus x square, correct? So that is how we can actually solve this question and get the result. I hope that helps. I'd like you to go through this video once again, understand the trigonometry part, and then see how we substituted and simplified to get the answer. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you, and all the best.